जाओ तोरे चरण कमल The basic melodic form adopted for the arrangement of notes in Indian music is the raga. We will also try to analyze rhythm because it is almost inextricably tied to the raga form and understanding it is thus fundamental to our comprehension of Indian classical music. Indian classical music based on the raga form refers to both North Indian music and South Indian music. They are alternatively known as Hindustani and Carnatic music. One of the most popular and important genres in Hindustani classical music is the khayal. The term khayal comes from the Persian word meaning thought, idea, conception, or imagination. The form is often conjectured to have arisen as a result of mixing qawwali and the dhrupad styles of singing. The form is freer and more flowery in contrast to the somba dhrupad. Although this musical form came into prominence during the 18th century, some writers trace its origins as far back as the 13th century and also attribute the khayal to Amir Khusro, the poet musician of that period. Others credit Niyamat Khan, a Dhrupad singer, by training with the development of the khayal and acceptance in the court of the Mughal king Muhammad Shah Rangila. Niyamat Khan's pen name, Sadarang, usually features in the words of several khayals reportedly composed by him. It was suggested that a form of the khayal was already in existence prior to Niyamat Khan's time and that Niyamat Khan classicized the form further, thus giving rise to the modern khayal. As far as its textual content is concerned, the khayal covers diverse topics such as divine love, separation of lovers, the seasons, praise of kings or other patrons, and the pranks of Lord Krishna. The khayal differs from the Drupad not only in its thematic con content since the latter focus largely on religious themes but also because the styles of singing and presentation of both these genres are perceptibly different. Besides being a more free and flexible form compared to the serious and tightly structured Drupad, the nature of the khayal is also influenced by the singing techniques adopted for this form such as the manner of producing notes and ornaments that are used to embellish the melodic movements. The use of the tan in the khayal gayaki is one of the major features that distinguishes the former from the dhrupad. In addition, there is a greater use of ornamentation in the khayal form, which uses ornaments like sargams, murkhis, and khatkas, in addition to kanas, mirs and gamaks found in Dhrupad. However, structurally, the khayal lyric or cheese is bipartite, like the Dhrupad, consisting of two sections, the asthai and antara, which can be distinguished not merely as divisions of the lyric, but also because they involve different forms of melodic movement. More importantly, the khayal differs radically from Dhrupad in its treatment and development of the composition or the bandish. In today's performance, Dada Tapankanti Baidya will introduce his unique, individual, innovative approach to teaching the fundamentals of Hindustani classical vocal music. Dada Tapankanti Baidya was born in Chittagong, Bangladesh. He began his career early first under the guidance of his father, the late Dr. Matilal Baidya, and then under Priyadaranjan Sengupta, Jagunanandan Barua, and Abdul Halim Chowdhury. 
Recognition of his talent came early. He won the Ashraf Memorial Gold Medal in a nationwide music competition in the category of semi-classical based Nazrul Geet, which occupies a prominent place in Bengal's music tradition. By 1973, he was already among the regular singers on Bangladesh radio and television. He went on to pursue his career with the Bangladesh-India Joint Scholarship Program in Vishwa Bharati Shantini Ketan, West Bengal, which remains one of the most important centers for learning music in the subcontinent. He took his master's degree in music with distinction in Hindustani classical vocal music in its various forms such as Dhrupad, Dhamar, Khayal, and Tumri. At Shantini Ketan, he was trained by legendary maestros inside and outside the university. He trained in the Agra and the Thrauli Ghranas, the Khayal and Tumri, under Ustad Yunus Hussain Khan, in Dagar Ghrana, Dhrupad and Dhamar, under Professor Nimai Chand Baral, in Patiala Ghrana, Khayal and Tumri, under Prasun Banerjee, Khayal with Mamata Das Gupta of the Patiala Ghrana, Alok Chatterjee from Shantini Ketan, and Mohan Singh Kangura from Shantini Ketan. He also had a brief and highly rewarding association with Pandit Ajay Chakraborty of the Patiala Gharana. On his return from Shantini Ketan in 1983, he joined the Bangladesh Shilpakal Academy, the Fine Arts Academy, as a lecturer. In 1984, he started his own Guru Parampara style of school of classical music in Dhaka and named it the Sadarang Sangeet Samaroha, after Sadarang, the great exponent of Hindustani classical music. In 1994, soon after Dada Tapankanti Baidya moved to New York, he opened another music school, the Sadarang School of Music. Here then are some of the students of the Sadarang Music Center with their guru, Dada Tapankanti Baidya, performing the first in a series of lessons elaborating the fundamental features that constitute a raga in Hindustani classical vocal music.